Hello, kid. First, I'm gonna be breaking down <clears throat> all what will be lowering your dough for me. So, let me show you this. This eye on eye contact. So, I've got this on my list right here. And I'm gonna be breaking down everything that will lower your dopamine. So these are 10 things that will lower your dopamine. Stress. Stressful situations at work or home or financial worries, relationship issues. This brings your dopamine down. Lack of sleep. Insomnia. Staying up late to watch TV or use social media. These will all, you know, lower your dopamine. Unhealthy eating habits, consuming too much sugar, processed foods, or unhealthy fats. This 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 is gonna lower your dopamine. And I'm right here though, so like for some people like these like so so far though if y'all think y'all y'all um y'all relate to some of these things, you know. My next video, part two, I will break down, you know, how to, you know, 10, 20, who knows, ways of boosting your dopamine. And the fourth, drugs, alcohol abuse, substance abuse, addiction, and bingering drinking. So, you know, straight up, you know, addicts. So this could lower your dopamine. And what dopamine is, you know, is it is them times when you feel like you accomplished something, you know, is that in mean, those moments, you know, that that's that's what dopamine. But you can get it naturally. But these are things that lower it. Social isolation, lack of social interaction, spending too much time alone or not having close relationships. So you know you you might be, you know, isolating yourself for who know whatever what reason. But you know, you might be spending too much time with yourself. But no, you know, if if you gotta, you know, if that's the time you meet, must need it, you need. But other than that, though, not having close relationships will put you in this perspective where, you know, you are, you know, seeing things from. A, um, only yours. You're not looking from uh, the eco ecosystem. You're just looking from just you. Negative thinking. No, I'm just no, no. I'm, I just got a neg neg negative thinking. Hold on. Negative thinking. Always like perfectism. You're trying to, you know. You say, this is not good enough. This is not right. You always look at it, like, from a perspective where, oh, I can't do nothing because this right here is not all good enough, so I'm not going to do nothing. I'm going to make something that's better than that. And you just keep being, you know, a perfectionist. But negative thinking patterns. So, you know, this just lowers the dopamine. And one of them is perfectism, you know. Not necessarily letting yourself, you know, just do it. You too much upon uh, how and self-criticizing yourself and negative self-talk. So you could be self-criticizing yourself like, oh, I knew I was going to do that. Oh. Uh, or, you know, some negative self-talk or, oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucking. I'm slow. Oh. You know, in no moments or, you know, so, sometimes, you know, it's just it's just like you be joking or you just be having, you know, People come, so conversate with you, how they be talking to themselves, and then that rub off on you. So, um, seven, lack of physical activities, going outside type of lifestyle, lack of exercise, or sitting for a long period, this will, you know, lower, you know, your dopamine, so lack of physical activity, you know, you know. If you're not going outside in, in like a reasonable amount of like it's in your lifestyle, then you know you're just going you know have low dopamine and 
lack of exercising or this is this brings down your dopamine and just sitting for a long period. Long period. And chronic pain lowers your lowers your dopamine. Painful conditions such as arteries. Like like I'm saying it wrong, but you know those things in your hands when it's like when you, so if a girl trying to braid your hair and she got Carpetona, yeah, yeah, it's Carpetona. So she got Carpetona, and you know, if you get in or you get migraines, or you know, you get stomach aches, you know, it's galore, your 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 dopamine. Uh, and certain medi- medications lower your your dopamine. Antidepressants, antipsychotics, and blood pressure medication. These all lower your dopamine. So certain medications. I'm going to say it one more time. Anti-depressions. Anti, you know, chaotic things like, you know, some fucking um, perks or blood pressure medication. So obesity, being overweight or obese, which can lead to a host of health problems. So, you know, being obese, this lower your uh, dopamine. So make sure you always, you know, Try to watch your weight. Like, it don't mean... I ain't telling you to go lose 100 billion. You know, you go become the next... You lose on 600 and lose two and you lost... You got 200. Like, no, whatever your height is and whatever that is, try to get to that weight for your height and your age. And try to get to that weight first. And then, boom. And then, boom, that's the fucking... That's the dopamine, like, what lowers it. But, you know, catch me on part two. I'm I'm gonna I'm tell you how to raise it, how to rise 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 it, for real though. Have a blessed one. Have a blessed one. Have a blessed one.